Hi guys, so it's Betty here for who doesn't know my name is Beata. Everybody calls me Betty here where I say I stay in Scotland. I'm Polish originally. Uh, so I had a bariatric surgery at the beginning of this year. And it all went well on the 26th of February. There's my children, at least two of them. Hi, Mar. Uh, so, yes, I had a bariatric surgery on a 26th of February this year. Gliding boy. And, and it all went well. <laughs> and that's my greyhound. And next to me is meowing. Uh, my cat, Isabel. So, <laughs> I'm all dog and cat. Um, so, yeah, sorry for that. Um, so, I had a bariatric surgery. Um, I started my journey before that and when I started my journey of weight loss, I weighed whopping 130 kilos. Uh, to yesterday actually, I weighed myself yesterday morning and I weighed yesterday, ooh, astonishing. Uh, 79 kilos. It kind of been hard for me to go under that 80 kilos because it has slowed down and yes, I'm weighing 79. Woohoo! <laughs> A little dance. Uh, but <laughs> no children just now, just animals. <laughs> Kids are at school, they just started school. Uh, so yes, I'm weighing today. 79 kilos. Yeah, yeah, yeah victory! Um, I think my goal weight is to drop down to 74. That's the way I was after having my first daughter. So I'm not going for the way I was even before the pregnancy because I kind of think it's probably not even achievable for me. But the goal is to go to the way I was after. And I'm feeling great. If anybody asks me, I do feel great. I still do have days where I'm feeling ugh, like like we all do, you know, like it comes with sacrifice and obviously I have to eat thoughtfully. I have to chew, chew, chew because I'm on choo choo train diet. <laughs> I have to slowly eat as well. I have to think what I eat. I have to choose low fat options, more carb options. So I do put energy into my body, into my system. And um, I have to be mindful of what I'm doing at every point of the day. So I have to think of what I'm gonna do eat for my tea so much early. Cause my routine is like I eat tea, I go to work. So I have to have it all prepared. Um, and it's all those small things but people don't consider that probably are a bit hard because if you are not used to routine and preparing your foods and meals before that it might be hard for you uh, but anybody who is there and thinks about bariatric surgery it's so good honestly i have to say i'm so thankful to all the people who worked with me. I had my uh, seen my dietitian the other day and he said I'm doing good and I believe him. I'm hoping that I'm doing good. I'm actually eating more thoughtful and less wine. Haha! <laughs> I actually been on holiday for a week and to go on that holiday I took two bottles of wine with me. And guys, I don't know, was I just too tired or couldn't be bothered but I only drank one bottle of wine. I brought the other one with me and I was away for like eight days from yeah, eight or nine days and seriously I hardly drank any wine so I just enjoyed myself without drink. I get drunk really 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 easily <laughs> so it's like a few glasses of wine and I'm like eh! so now and then I kept the wine in the fridge and if I wanted a drink of wine I had a probably only half a glass but it was done for me so it was great um, <laughs> my daughter ended up with a broken ankle and 
both of them eventually at the end of the whole day called sickness and diarrhea bug. But never mind, let's ignore that. Whole day. Hey. <laughs> and I'm doing fantastic. As you can see, I'm so happy. I'm just a happy person. And people keep on asking me. And honestly, if you see me on the street, ask. Don't be shy. Honestly, I'm not bothered because I do see so many people going through the journey just in my small community because I'm trying to make people aware. Uh, I know it takes a person to be happy with themselves to make decisions about their body and stuff like that because it took to me to adjust with who I was and the size I was. It did take quite a while to accept me as me. I was big, I was happy, I did learn to accept myself and then I started my journey to lose it all. So it was it's well hard for me to accept who I am now. At some point I, I did struggle with that. I think now I'm getting there slowly. It's my brain is starting to catch up. Um yes it is and and yes it's starting to catch up and I'm healthy. They took bloods yesterday uh, I will have all the results back. Some of you have been asking me how long does it take? At from the point when I got referred by my GP, it took me few months to go see anyone about bariatric surgery. And then after that it took more time to you get sent to weight management classes where they try to help you to drop to your best weight for operation or it's one of compliance to actually for you to do, lose the weight yourself before you do get accepted for operation so I believe it's 10% here in Scotland and I actually lost, I smashed it, I lost 4 stone so that was over a year because the the weight management program it didn't exactly work for me and I was in it for quite a while I think I was in it for about eight months or nine months and stuff like that and then for another few months I worked with dietitian on high protein low carb diet and just went through it because I think first stone it was those eight months through the program and after that, you know, another three stone on a, a diet. And it depends. How long does it take you to lose the weight that obviously they expect you to lose? It depends how badly you're needing it. It might depend on your circumstances. If your health is at risk, it might be faster. Or honestly, uh, it does depend on an individual my case from beginning, it probably just took over a year, probably 14 months or something like that. But hey, I learned so much about eating, about choices, about managing and planning as well. Because it was quite good system they are, were teaching us at weight management and that was the basics like you have to prepare you have to think about what you're eating and that was brilliant because it does prepare you in some kind of way <clears throat> and yeah i would not like to lie because it does it was like three months between appointments it was taking time but i think they want to take the time to make sure that you are committed and you will go to every appointment because after operation it's still appointments after appointments they have to make sure you are right after your operation because it does put you through your ups and downs ups and downs i want to have just now <laughs> so it's fine <laughs> uh, but yeah it's all good um my hair i think it's mess just now it stopped falling out at least it stopped falling out excessively 
so it's not just pure handfuls uh, I've been taking loads of vitamins I do have obviously my prescribed my vitamins and supplements but I bought myself another extra top of vitamins and my nails actually are the healthiest they've ever been. <laughs> so like for first time in my life, I have actually got some kind of nail. So woohoo! <laughs> um, I'm healthy. And again, Fiona, thanks, because you kind of kick my ass every so often to, to get that video done. And I have been so busy. Uh, with kids, with work and holidays. <laughs> so I'm so sorry if it's been ages for you guys to wait for this one. Um, but I love you all and I love you that you watch that. Honestly, I so do. I so appreciate. Because if you watch it, if you listen, it might change something, it might not. But you know what? I tried and I'm trying to raise awareness. And to let you guys know to my full potential what's happening. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it for today. You guys take care. Love you so much. Comment underneath. If I don't answer your comments, I'm not being ignorant. Uh, I just probably don't have even time to take my phone. I usually leave it at home. Huh, that, who does it now in 21st century? I do. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you very much and see you next time. Bye guys.